This 37-year-old man from Atlanta, Georgia, went missing on his way to Los Angeles after his car broke down. A police officer said that he seen him walking alongside the highway about two o'clock in the afternoon and he gave him a ride to a convenience store. And that was the last time that he was seen alive. Months later, two joggers said that they came up on his body alongside the highway. It was about two miles away from where the police said that he dropped him off at. His mama said, when I got my son body back, he was missing his eyeballs. He was missing his kidneys, his liver, his ribs. They took his whole rib cage out. And the police is telling me that they think that wild animals got a hold to him. And they think that's why his organs are missing because they ate it. But what I believe is somebody has made money off of my son organs. I don't think that wild animals got a hold to my son. I think that somebody sold his body parts on the black market. See, this is what I've been trying to get to y'all. Organ harvesting is a real thing. All of these people that's being killed, you think they being buried? With all of their organs, when you got people on donors list, you got people sitting around waiting for people to die so they could get a new heart, new eyes, a new lung, a new kidney. You got people sitting around waiting. You got people paying to get on donors list. So you got all of these healthy, young black men. You think that they sending them to the grave with that good kidney, that good heart? All of these wonderful people that's putting on their driver's license that they want to be organ donors, it's taking them too long to pass away. Everybody don't have six months for the organ donor to pass away. Some people need that right now. And we all know that if you got money, you could skip the line. If you got a couple hundred dollars, you ain't got to wait like everybody else. I'll move you up five spaces. You got a hundred thousand? Okay, we, we got somebody in the mark right now. And this is just my opinion. I believe that the government could have been fixed the homeless problem. I think that, I think that we have enough money to where we don't have to have a homeless problem. We just seen that the government sent Ukraine billions and billions of dollars. We could have took that billions and billions of dollars and got some of these homeless people off the street. But being that these people are homeless and don't have no family, don't have nobody checking up on them, when they pass away, I refuse to believe that they go into the grave with all of their organs. Man, this is business. We have our bodies is a business. They took the man whole rib cage. Look at your chest. Feel your chest. You feel all of these. Like, I watch a lot of Animal Planet, right? When animals eat each other, they don't even eat the whole rib. They just eat the meat off of the ribs. And they leave that there. Hens was gone. The whole thing gone. They didn't pick around it or nothing. They To this man, mother... I would say this here, by you saying that you believe that somebody took your son organs for money, I would say that you are absolutely on the right track. Do not buy what they selling you. That whole thing about um, the wild animals got a hold to him. No, the wild animals that got a hold to him was probably driving that car. The wild animals that, that got hold to him stood on two legs and had two hands. If we want to call those people wild animals, let's call them wild animals. But it was those wild animals that got to your son. And you are absolutely correct. They did take your son body parts to make money off of them. And unfortunately, your son, he's not the first. And he's definitely not the last person that that's going to happen to. But I appreciate you for not being silenced. 
not letting what they tell you be the truth. 